Alright, what is up guys? Uh, cool. Alright, what is up guys? Code 29 is back with a brand new video. Today we are doing part 9 to our beginner scripting series. I know I say this every time, but you guys are really enjoying this series much more than I uh, thought you would. Um, so we're going to keep on making these uh, videos and today we are looking at C-frame and position, uh, that good stuff. So we talked about this a little earlier on in the series briefly, um, but today we're going to get more in depth. However, I'm not super, super strong in this area. I can do some of the basics, uh, but but I'm not going to be creating some insanely crazy uh, C-frame thing. Um, but it is extremely helpful. Okay, enough with the intro. Let's get right into the video. So, first off, what is position? Uh, well, position is where something is in your game, right? So, we all know Roblox is a 3D game at this point. You, at least you should. Which means it has an X, Y, and a Z. Um, one second. It has an X, a Y, and a Z position. Right? X, Y, and Z, stuff like that. If you want to find exactly um, where uh, these things are, you can hit view right here and then click this little view selector. And here you'll be able to see that there's this little die in the, um, or die, it might be a die, I'm not sure. It looks like a die to me. Um, that is here and you can see what direction you're facing you can see that z is that way negative z is this way x is this way like that way negative x is this way and y is up and negative y is down i know it gets really confusing but it is something that uh you just uh need to kind of practice to learn more of and it really truly um is uh very vital if you want to make a good roblox game now, how do we find position? So it's basically, we can scroll down into our properties and click this position, or find this position, and this is its position. We have its X position, its Y position, and its Z position, okay? So its X position is 2.5, its Y position is 2.5, and its Z position is 54.25. So this is vector three, all right? I know this is this is gonna be a very confusing episode, possibly for some of you guys, um, but I'm trying my best to explain it. Um, so vector three goes on three axes, uh, axes, just like this, X, Y, and Z. That is exactly what vector three goes based on. Um, so let's just get an example, because it's hard, because uh, this is up Y, down Y. Uh, this is uh, to the left X, to the right X. And this is forward Z, backward Z, right? We can see the different colors. Red is X, green is Y, and blue is Z. Okay, so this we're just going to call this teleport part because I want this part to basically teleport across the map, okay? So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a script into our teleport part. We can call this something like teleport uh, script. And here, what we're going to do is we are going to take this part and we're just going to move it way over here. Now we can scroll down to this position and copy it, okay? So this position that we just copied is this position exactly right here in the game, okay? So we can now just say, we can get rid of this print hello world and we can just wait a few seconds, like five seconds, and then we can say script.parent.position equals, and we talked about this a little bit, um, whenever you change its position, you have to say vector three, like we just talked about vector three, x, y, and z, dot new, parentheses, and then you can paste the position. We did this a little bit, but uh, we're going to go more in depth, because this is our x position right here in the map, this is our y position, and this is our z position. Next, we can just say wait three seconds, because we just want to wait a couple seconds, and you don't have to... Um, do these weird spaces that I do. That's just my style. And don't worry if you're not understanding this because when you program, you're literally learning a whole different language. It's like learning Spanish. I'm learning Spanish right now and it's really hard for those of you who speak English and Spanish. I don't know how you do that. Great job, guys. Okay, that was off topic. But yes, it is like learning a brand new language. Um, so, I want this to teleport here, right? And then I want it to teleport back after three seconds. So I'm just going to hit Control-Z. 
and now it's un uh, it did it undid what we did okay and then we can copy this position way over here so now it's right here in the map right earlier it was over here now it's over here and we've copied that position so we can say the same thing script dot parent dot position equals vector three dot new and then paste that position you just have to write vector three dot new when you're changing the position okay so let's run it later we'll talk about c frame and uh we'll get into that but for now, just say vector3.new. All right, the part's over here, and it's teleported. And now it's back over there. Cool, so that's changing position, but that's not very fun, right? Maybe we want to do something a little more exciting, right? Um, what if we moved this part up and down? Let's try that, okay? So let's go ahead and comment all this stuff out. So remember, Roblox is just going to ignore this, okay? And we can say um, script dot parent. Actually, we're going to create a for loop. Remember for loops? Yeah, we're going to create a for loop. So we can say for i equals 0, comma 1, comma, let's just say 20. So it's going to uh, do. So it's going to loop through 20 times, right? And it's going to, uh, and we're also going to put this while loop, I mean for loop, inside of a while loop, while true do right here okay so this is inside of a while loop so this is gonna forever happen so we can just say wait point one so it's gonna wait point one seconds and then we can say script dot parent dot position equals script dot parent dot position uh, dot parent dot position so whatever position it's at plus vector three dot new so this is uh, going to take its current position and add to the vector 3 and we can just say 0 comma 1 comma 0 So remember this is X. We're going to add 0 to the X So it's, the X is going to stay the same on this part when we uh, when it moves It's going to stay the same on the red line. So right and left The zero uh, the Z is also 0 right here, right? The Z is also 0 so it's going to stay the same also on uh, front and back okay but the y is set to one and this one means one stud okay um, in roblox they work by studs so we can drag it up one 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 that's one stud right there okay and that's that's literally it uh, you can go into model and make sure that this is set to one stud and click move check on move um, but that is one stud so every point one second it's going to go up one stud okay and uh next after that we can just say we can copy this right here paste it down here we can just say wait one second and we're going to do the exact same thing except we're going to subtract so this time we're adding one to the y so it's going to go sorry about my dog uh he's a little loud it's going to go up one but next time it's gonna go down, okay? So it's gonna go down the exact amount of, same amount of times because we're moving at the same amount of studs. Whoops, my bad. Uh, I taught you this a while ago and I forgot. This, these need to be changed. These just need to be inverted because we wanted to do it 20 times, not once. Um, and it's gonna increase by one. I got those two mixed up, my bad. Um, but now, as we will see, this is going to move up. 20, uh, 20 times, and then it's going to wait and go back down. And then it's going to come back up. Wait. And come back down. So this is something we can do with um, with uh, scripting and with position. So we can also um, do this by uh, getting rid of this right here. And just say wait 3. And we can just say um, script.parent.anchored. Uh, equals false and then we can over here up at the top say script dot parent dot anchored equals true so we're gonna have it remember anchored means it can fall or not if it's false it's gonna fall if it's true it's not gonna fall so watch this this is gonna be pretty cool uh, we can watch it go up 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 right I'm lagging a little bit sorry but it's gonna fall down and then it's gonna go back up 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 and it's gonna fall back down. So this is what we can do with uh, with C frame. I mean position. Uh, C frame is very similar, but um, it's a little different. 
Uh, but yeah, we can even do that with the character, uh, the, the player's character, which we're not going to get into right now, but, um, but it's still a very good two one. Okay, so C frame is, uh, very similar. This is the last thing we're going to do. I'm just going to, uh, going to create, uh, I'm just going to duplicate this brick, right? And maybe we'll just make this one red, just so we can, uh, keep track of these. This is going to be our C frame script, okay? C frame is super similar. Uh, C frame script and only certain things have C frame as do certain things have position pretty much anything that has position um, Should have C frame uh, if it's a 3d object. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong on that um, But C frame is very similar uh, because we can say uh, We can do the same position thing we had earlier So let's go into this script right here where we uh, had this right our weight 15, weight 5, all that stuff from the beginning where we teleported the, the, the brick, right? Uh, where we didn't uh, move it, right? We didn't move it up and down, but we, um, we made it go, uh, we teleported it. And we're going to use this here. So we can just say, instead of position, we can say dot C frame. C frame is very similar to position, uh, but we may get more in detail on C frame. We'll probably get more detail on C frame later on, but this is just the basics, all right? Instead of, when you, whenever you say C frame, instead of saying vector three, you're gonna say C frame dot new. And that's pretty much the only change. Um, and in this, if you want to, um, do the plus, uh, you you would have to say script dot parent instead of dot position. It's current position. We'd have to say dot C frame and then plus vector if that makes sense. But don't worry about it because C frame C frame is a whole nother thing. I really wanted to get into position mainly, so I'm probably actually just gonna uh, title this position, but uh, just a very brief intro into C frame. So we can run it and see that it's going to change its C frame or its position um, by teleporting. It's doing the same thing as when we used position. It just is a, it's typically an easier way when you're working with players and stuff like that, right? Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty neat thing um, that we're doing. I'm going to move that out of the way. But yeah, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, this episode because this was a fun one. Position is super useful because later on we'll be able to like move these army men if we wanted to with position. Ooh, they fall. Wow. Roblox, great job animating these guys. Um, if, if you would ever watch my video, I kind of doubt it. But uh, yeah, uh, so we can change these guys' position even if we wanted to. Um, we can change en like all their positions. So... Position is very powerful, uh, and yeah, so as uh, as usual, if the next part is out, it'll already be up on the screen. If it's not, or if it even is, please just do hit that subscribe button over here. Um, you know, it really helps me out, so make that red subscribe button gray. Um, thank you to all of you who are subscribed. Also, uh, if you have any video suggestions, you can drop them in the comments below. As of right now, I have comments on, but we may switch again uh, to just doing my group, but you can also join my Roblox group. Link will also be in the description. And lastly, we have Roblox merch. Go ahead and check that shirt out if you would like. We only have a few purchases. I, I know that's, that's totally fine, though. Um, but if you would like to do that, I may end up lowering, lowering the price a little bit uh, later. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But make sure to check that out if you want to support the channel in that way. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.